Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you how I took a Google Sheet and made a stock quote where it'll keep track of your latest purchases and give you the latest quotes on each one of your stock symbols. So over here, I got my stock symbols. Here is where I get data from an API that will update. And then I put in my shares, my purchase price, my purchase value is calculated between my shares and purchase price. And from there, I can get my close value and gain by looking at the close value. So if I hit update, it'll just update me. And I'll refresh it. Now today is 619. Tomorrow you can click this and it'll be the same since it's a Friday. But once you get into the Monday and Tuesday, it'll change dates and give you the updated open and close. So with this, I'm calling an API from Alpha Vantage and here you can just get a free API key it'll ask you for your email address and they'll send you a key from there they give you all this documentation of all the stuff you can call and I am calling the time series daily and it's an output of JSON and if I put this in Postman this is what the output data looks like now with this call it'll give you all the latest dates about the open and close but what I'm doing in the worksheet I'm just calling the first date I see which will be the latest date and I'll show you how I put all this together on a Google sheet using Google Apps script so I'll go ahead and show you the Google Apps script of this I go into script editor so here I got it pulled up. I got my one function that I'm calling a stock quote, and I have my API key here, which in your view will probably be somewhat blocked out because I don't want people to take my key here. You'll have to get your own key, but you can put your key right here and declare it with API key here. From there, I am defining my active sheet object with SS, and I'm defining my stock sheet which is named stock which is down here and then I'm getting the last row of the sheet so I can cycle through each of the symbols I'll be going through each one of these symbols and grabbing it and updating these columns with the date open close and volume just those four columns I'm grabbing data for so once I go through there I'm grabbing the symbol here I'm getting the value of the J which is a row and one is the column. I'm farming my URL string which comes from my this right here is what I'm using and I'm adding the symbol in between here where it says symbol and I'm adding my key where it says API key. There's two things I'm adding. Getting the response back from the call. I'm doing a conversion and I'm converting it to an object from JSON. So from there, I'm going to be looping through the segments of it. And I can kind of go through here. This is basically, you know, this is JavaScript code here, like cutting through an object. But you could think of it as like cutting through an array with a key and value. So we're putting our data here, our object data here, and we're getting out a key and value every time we lead through. So our first pass, and I can show you here, our first pass is going to skim the top. So it's going to get the metadata and then time series daily. Those are the first two things we're going to be looping through. But I'm more interested in the second one because we're going to drill down even further. So I'm going to go back over to my sheet. So the first one goes through, doesn't catch anything on the second one because there's nothing underneath the first one there's no there's not another object underneath this object where this one there is an object with these little brackets here underneath this object so we're doing the first pass it's gonna go through the first one and then the second pass we're gonna be looking we're gonna be grabbing the date so we'll be grabbing this this is the first piece of data we'll be grabbing and from there we're going to do another loop this will be the third one and so we get looking at open close and volume so again our first pass 
our second pass, and then our third pass. And then we're looking specifically, I'm looking for the one open, I'm looking for the four close, and I'm looking for the five volume. So then I'm declaring V3 is our value coming out. So we're one opens the key, this is the, the value. So key, I'm looking for one open, and then declaring the open, close, and volume. And after I get through the first one, because we're only going through the first date here, I don't want the 618 or 617 or anything like that. So then we're breaking out of the loop, and then we're done. And then the last part is I'm declaring these values to the table here. So going date open which is column 2, 3, 4, and 5 which I have it listed down here 2, 3, 4, and 5 with date open close and volume and then I'm just setting the font size to 12 to kind of line out to make it look nice and then from there I'm setting that function to this I just clicked it there but if I right click it I'm setting it to the assigned script called stock quote from there, I can add a new quote symbol. So I'm going to just do AAA, hit tab. I'm going to hit update. It's going to update all my quotes, and it's even going to update my this one here. So say I bought a share, one share, 1200 or let's say $12,000. Uh, I'm just going to copy my formula down from up here, which is FA times G8, which is these two. Bring that down. I'm doing an FA times DH, which is 50 times whatever the closing value is, is right here. So I'm going to just copy that formula down, carry down here. And then the gain is the close value minus purchase value. And I can bring that down there, which is I9 my minus H9. So that gives you the full lookout of the sheet. Again, I can update it. It'll update all the values and give you the latest here. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. If, if you're interested in videos like this one, subscribe to this channel to catch the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. Until next time.